Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit here from PAX East 2013, and I am here to look at a game that is exactly what you would expect from its name. It's called Dive Kick. It involves diving and kicking, and uh, I'm going to get my ass kicked by someone right here in the booth. So why don't you introduce yourself and your game to the audience? Uh, thank you. Dave Lang, CEO of Iron Galaxy, and I will be kicking your ass at Dive Kick. Just, just want to make that absolutely clear. So we're going to play the first game with Dive and Kick, as you can clearly see here. We're actually using... A controller. It's going to be quite loud. It's two gigantic buttons. Yeah, one is dive, one is kick. So we now have a gem mechanic. So what's going on here? So these are different kind of like strategy things you can play in your play style. Yellow gem makes you jump 10% higher. Uh, silver gem builds you build, build meter 10% faster. Blue gem makes you kick 10% faster. That's a really good one for kick. Okay. Red gem we won't be picking today, but what that does, right. it gives you a massive boost to all your stats, but the expense of it's one hit and you're done. So right. it's kind of like going all in in poker. Okay. So then kind of pick your colors. Uh, I recommend uh, getting purple for kick, and when you do it, you have to say dat perp. Right. Uh, that, that might happen. Or it's, it might not. It's, it's house rules. So okay. it's kind of like your yeah. dat perp. There you go. Thank all you. Right. That can be done. So, uh, real simple, the left button jumps you in the air, and when you're in the air, the right button does a kick forward. All right. So, kind of like that. And then when you're on the ground, if you hit the blue button, it just gives you, gives you a jump backwards. That's how you get your mobility. Okay. So, it, one might say that it is very much a deconstruction of everything fighting games are, down to its barest possible essentials. Yeah, right? exactly. Like, um, I love fighting games, but I love them because I played them in high school and college, and I had a yep. bunch of free time. And I don't have that anymore, so I can't learn all the combos and the fancy inputs. Uh, but I can still get all the strategy and depth out of a fighting game with just these two buttons and have all the fun I want to have. So That's an interesting idea behind it, because, I mean, uh, I suppose that there are an awful lot of people that think, oh, you know, fighting games, very, very complex. Uh, but in reality, I mean, suppose when you break it down, it's all about positioning, and it always has been. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, at high level like fighting game players like what it all boils down to is like at any given distance between the characters it's knowing like what attacks i have that can hurt you and you know what attacks you have that can hurt me and trying to get the optimal distance so that i have more options than you do and that's all this game is about right so he's got concussed there so you're going to be a little slower than normal for a few seconds don't like the look of that what the heck <laughs> so i filled up my kick meter uh it's this, that, this shoe meter down here on the right the yep. more kicks you do, the faster it fills up. Okay. Um, and when it gets all the way filled up, you start going, like, hyper fast. It's actually it's surprisingly tense, in fact, considering what it's all about. Yeah, you know what it's kind of like? Because uh, you know it's one-hit kill, right? Yeah. So the game's always turned up to 11. It's never, like, a dull moment, right? It's kind of like if you play a lot of fighting games, they, if you're ever going to get perfected, that this tension you feel like, I don't want to get perfected. I don't want to get perfected. Well, every point is like that dive thing. So you are going to have that happen to you. Yeah. But there's a bit of depth to it in the sense that if you hit them in the head, there is a stun of some description. Yeah, and there's also, uh, so this one I'll show you some of the techniques. Every character has an air and a ground technique that you can elect to spend meter, meter on if you want to. Okay. So, so you uh, use the techniques by hitting both buttons at once if you have enough meter. So we'll get in here and show you some of that. All right. No house color for redacted. Okay. All right, let's rock and roll. So, <laughs> yes. This is, once again, sound advice from Uncle Sensei. I, I would certainly say so, yes. So if you look on the meter, you see you got the down carrot and the up carrot. Yep. When the meter gets past there, you can do your techniques. All so right. I'll just show you, give you a sample. I'll show you what Mr. Ends are. All right, so this guy's got kind of a floating kick, but he jumps very quickly. Yeah, yeah, he's super fast. Oh, so hit the head. There we go. So when you start this round, press and hold both buttons. Okay. And this will be his ground technique. So, so that's like an evasion, right? All right? And while you're holding it, the meter drains, but so like someone can fly over your head while you're doing that. All right. So, yeah, that's a nice little yeah. advanced technique. And so his air technique is a corner jump. Because okay. he's, he's so vertical, it's easy to kind of bully him into a corner. Yeah. But then once you're in the corner, you can do the corner jump to get out of there. Yeah. Oh, I'm telling you. Look at you. Take my hand off the controller and you school me. All right, it's on now. You'll take it's every on. advantage I can get, man. <laughs> You've played about a thousand rounds of this. I've played like one. God damn it. <laughs> in school by a guy wearing pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
it's getting ugly, man. It's getting ugly. Now, what kind of? I've got to ask, what kind of reception have you had from the fighting game community when it comes to dive kick? It's been really good. Like the fighting game fans have known about this for a while. It started off as like kind of like an underground porn type that we got taken to tournament. Um, oh my goodness. And uh, that's when I, frankly, when I thought we came here, I thought that's all we get attention from is fighting game yeah. fans. But it's been, response has been amazing. Like, the booth has been pretty much packed the entire show. People have been tweeting about it like crazy. Um, I've been, yeah, the response has been pretty scary. And I think it's the kind of game, especially at sort of lower levels, that really anyone can win. But even at higher levels, it could go either way so quickly. Yeah, I think one of the best things about the game is, like, it literally takes, like, 15 minutes to get totally up to speed with the mechanics. Yeah. And at that point, it's just about the strategy and mind games and stuff. Like, stuff that's fighting against awesome. And you really got no one to blame but yourself anytime you lose. Um, it's not like, oh, I didn't play for five hours or I didn't play for 80 hours and learn all this stuff. It's yeah. like, no, I should have won. Yeah. No, you know, I just got beat. Yeah, you have so, no one to blame but yourself. Very much like in this situation. Indeed, like, yeah. I'm not going to blame that I was talking and playing at the same no, time. No. That would be weak sauce. Of course. I'm going to yeah, take my I'm loss like a man. It's all good. I'm crying on the inside, though. <laughs> Let's play more characters. It's, it's like you could do a video of this, and you could probably cover the game in about 30 seconds, but there's still a lot to yeah, really understand. Yeah let's, yeah, let's try that. Okay, so she's pretty difficult. Yeah, by so she, does, she doesn't uh, jump very high, but she's like she jumps very low, relatively speaking, but she flies forever horizontally. Okay. She's kind of like a sniper. Um, All right. And my character is the only character in this two kicks. The first kick, she goes out kind of flat, hit kick again, and she dive bombs. All right. This uh, Dr. Scholl's is probably the trickiest one to play because she's also got – she can get a hover in the air by hitting both buttons, and she can kind of string all those things together to do some amazing things. Now, notice this is running on the PlayStation 3. Uh, what kind of formats are you targeting for with this game? Oh, uh, yeah. We're, so right now we're going uh, PS3, Vita, and PC. Uh, we're trying to get the game out July-ish. Um, we're trying to get a Steam Greenlight right now. Uh, we've only been up there like five days. We're trying to get that rolling. And then depending on how that reception is, um, you know, we could go mobile. We could do other consoles. We'll just see what happens. We, we definitely want the first uh, the first version to be on uh, PS3 because I think that's where, like, they use those consoles a lot. The fighting game tournaments. Yes, that's, that's where the fighting true. game fans yeah. are. Yeah, I mean, it makes perfect sense. So it's great to hear that there's a possibility of PC. Yeah, no, we're absolutely doing PC. It's going to yeah. be day and date. That, that's, just, that's absolutely fantastic yeah. to hear because we have so little selection. Yeah. It's, it's like, well, a couple of Capcom games here and there, games for Windows Live matchmaking, which is nothing short of freaking awful. <laughs> and, you know, and then we have a couple of Guilty Gears on GOG, and that's pretty much it. That's all we got. Yeah, we're, uh, we'd love to get this on PC, but uh, Steam, uh, Steam's going to be an uphill climb for us. We'll see. All right, well, maybe we can do something about that. You know, Guys, uh, have a look down at the bottom of the description below this video and what you're going to find it <laughs> the way you're going to find is a link to the green light. So if you like the look of this game from this video, I would strongly suggest. Oh, my God. <laughs> I would strongly suggest that you click that link and go help green light this game to make sure Divekick makes it on Steam. So S rank. Mash that DPMFP. That's what we like to see. <laughs> Ow, that was painful. <laughs> but not as painful as that loss. Yeah. Thank you very much. These controllers, custom controllers, you can't see these on the stream. I'm going to post a picture of them on the video right now. You're going to be able to see them. And they are two big buttons. I've got to ask, do you have any intention whatsoever of trying to sell these? Yeah, or? we're trying to get, so the Hitbox made these for us. These eight were custom. Yeah. Um, and we're trying to get deals done with whomever will do them with us, like uh, Hitbox or Madcaps or whoever. Yeah. Uh, the problem with that is, like, you're selling a digital game with physical goods. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a tricky business proposition. Exactly. So we're going to keep grinding and grinding and try to get a deal done with somebody. Yeah. Uh, we really are, like, you know, the game's fun with a fight stick or a game pad. We use the bumpers. So it's still plenty fun, but this kind of makes it special, and we want to find a way to get it done. Yeah. Could be tricky. I mean, would you consider a Kickstarter or something along those lines? Uh, I, I'm, we'll have to see what we want to do there. The, the Kickstarter thing... Essentially, it would be a pre-order campaign. Yeah. And I, I don't kind of like the feel of that. I kind of like to, if there's a huge outcry for something like that, and that's the only way it'll get done, I can see us doing it. But sure. That's probably the only circumstance. All right. Well, you're 2 nil. Uh, I'm 2 nil right now, so I guess I've been distracting you quite nicely with the talk. It's been working pretty well. Nope. <laughs> that, nothing happened. <laughs> Oh, I telegraphed that one completely. <laughs> the equivalent of the full screen fireball in Street Fighter there. Yeah, pretty much. It's just like PSDPMFP. Like, oh, 
Oh, I'm sorry. Were you distracted there? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. 4-0 run right here. Let's do it. Let's see Let's see how you do that. You're a little bit stunned here now. It's, it's a little bit unfortunate because oh that might happen. God. That might happen. You've never played this before. I've never seen this before in my life. I played 3,000 hours of Dan on Street Fighter 4. Okay. I don't know if that helps. It actually doesn't, I think. These guys are significantly more effective at fighting than Dan has ever been. So, you know, that's just how it is. Nice, nice. All right, yeah. Got it in there. Yep, nicely snuck in. It's, I, the game itself is great just because it is tactical, but, like, anyone could play this and actually have a good time with it. Yeah, it doesn't take a lot to get into and feel like you know what you're doing. Yeah, you know? definitely. Oh, just the party starter. <laughs> this is getting tense now, man. Yeah, it's go. getting pick tense. It up, pick it up. Match point. So much match point going off. Missed the special. Oh. Go. Now All right, go. sudden death. Match point. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Can you redeem your honor? Round I, ten. I, I don't need more than this to redeem my honor. <laughs> Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh. That's horse shit. There's a oh. bug. <laughs> that hitbox is garbage. God, I'm glad this is the last game of the event. I can walk away with my hand held <laughs> high from this event. That's what I'm talking about. The, uh, so you're sitting here. This is the first interview where I've actually lost. <laughs> so congratulations. Don't worry. Every other press guy sucks at video games. <laughs> I also suck, but slightly less at fighting games. Yeah. But Wow. Dive kick. That, I did not expect to have as much fun with two buttons. Yeah, no I, one does. No, no, one does. Th no, they never do, and it's totally understandable. I, that game is nothing short of phenomenal. It's a great concept. It's well executed. It's fun to play. The controller adds a huge amount to it. So, ideally, hope you manage to find a way yeah. to actually get that sorted out. But, oh man, All right? When can we expect this to come out then? We're shooting to get it out before Evo, which is the big fighting game yep. tournament, um, yep. and that's like mid July. But ultimately, you know, this is the, we're self-publishing this so we can do it when it's ready. Sure. But we got a lot of incentive to be out by then, so we'll see what happens. Wonderful. All right, well, thank you very much for showing us Dive Kick today. Thank it's you. very much appreciated. Looks like you've had a great time at PAX. Everyone's been crowded around, which is awesome yeah. to see. What a crazy simple concept. What a great way to round off the show here for us at PAX East. Thank you very much for your time today. Well, thank you. It's been awesome. Absolutely. Guys, green light the goddamn game. Just <laughs> Click the, get, click the link. It's in the description below this video. It's a fighting game on PC. That's rare enough as it is. So please do click it. If you like the look at Dive Kick, let's get it on Steam. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Esports.